recently spent way too much time as a guest in the Heartbreak Hotel, strategically located on Lonely Avenue, just uh, adjacent to Desolation Boulevard, south of the Lost Highway. I fought the law, and the law won. My mailbox read Mr. Pitiful, fulfilling the prophecy of the bad moon on the rise. I had uh, lost my race with the devil. I was moaning at midnight. I was Mr. Dimely Sad. I was constantly in a cold sweat, going through that hideous withdrawal known as cold turkey, drinking cold gin and trying to melt the cold, cold heart of the universe. But were you to take a journey to the center of my mind, you would find admittedly a ball of confusion. But I still maintain that love is a beautiful thing. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, all my love was in vain. She was a femme fatale. She was a devil with a blue dress. I cried more than 96 tears. I cried a river. I was shaking all over. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And my, my, I guess you could say I was going through them changes. And I had a love hangover. But I'm all cried out. There's a kind of a hush. I ain't gonna eat my heart anymore. And I will survive. I saw the light. I sense the presence of the spirit of the sky. If God is a concept by which we measure our pain, then a wop bop a loop bop a lop bam boom is my God. Someone saved my life tonight and it was rock and roll. And the immortal words of a Joan Jet by way of that sort of knucklehead pedophile Gary Glitter. I love rock and roll. Rock and roll never forgets. Rock and roll will never die. I got the rock and pneumonia, the boogie woogie flu. I'm hungry like the wolf. I got my mojo working. I'm back. Back in black. Back in the chain game. Back in the USSR. Back to let you know I can really shake them down. 